hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all we are long 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 overdue for a natural hair regimen video y'all know i've been doing these videos actually for a little bit over a year and you guys have responded very well to them so for those of you guys who are new hey my name is mink i do a lot of natural hair lifestyle book and beauty content so if you're interested in any of those things of course go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kicking fam of course we would love to have you around here okay we're growing i'm so excited to see where we go in 2024 because y'all this is my last natural hair regimen video for 2023 i feel like this year baby blinked and it was over okay so basically my natural hair regimen videos are products that i plan to use up in the next coming months so i do these videos quarterly every three to four months ish ish so you guys we have so many products to go through i've been flying through a lot of products lately so there's a lot of new products that i'm going to be introducing to you guys on my channel of course if you're interested in seeing any videos in particular whether they have been mentioned in this video um you just see them on the shelf or if i have mentioned them in hauls y'all i did a haul not too long ago baby when's the last time i did a haul okay um so if you're interested of course as always you can always comment it down below or um you know tag me in an instagram post anything like that definitely make sure to let me know make me aware honey so yeah y'all that's definitely a very long of an intro so let's go ahead and talk about these products okay boom so the first week out of the month i like to really make sure that i clarify my hair so i have two different shampoo options so shampoo option number one is actually the cantu um, coconut milk shampoo and conditioner now these have been a part of my regimen for a little while now maybe this may be the second or third video that these have been in but y'all these are my silicone and sulfate type products so i like to use sulfates I know a lot of y'all don't okay but over here on this head of hair I do uh-huh because sometimes I just need my hair to be stripped clean stripped starting over starting clean all of those things so the shampoo does have sulfate and silicones and then the conditioner also does have silicones and when I tell y'all this conditioner is just about gone I am literally about here so I have a replacement so while we're on this topic let's go ahead and talk about the conditioner so once I actually go ahead and finish up this coconut milk detangling and conditioning conditioner which this will be gone I'll be surprised if this gives me a full use I'm going to go ahead in with the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Fortifying Conditioner so of course that is what this conditioner looks like and she is big honey so this conditioner is 11 ounces it's available on the ground i want to say they had these in target if i'm not mistaken um and y'all know that carol's daughter is affordable so this whole wash they will be affordable i'll probably end up finishing this conditioner before i end up finishing the shampoo y'all know it takes forever to finish shampoo so when i go ahead in with sulfate and silicones i will be going in with this um fortifying conditioner from carol's daughter however y'all on the days that i do not use a silicone or sulfate shampoo i have been going in with this bask and bloom gentle herbal cleanser of course this is what she looks like i have a whole bask and bloom review she's eight ounces and she is cleansing honey so like i said i did do a whole review on this shampoo and for me this is definitely more of a clarifier it claims on the bottle it's a gentle rich cleansing shampoo I don't think there's anything gentle about this shampoo y'all know i'm going to give y'all the real and the raw and for me i just don't think that this is a gentle shampoo but i do think that it's a phenomenal clarifier so pulling this out once a month when i actually really do need my hair to be clarified and stripped is exactly what i need this is filled with ayurvedic ingredients so it's perfect when i want to cleanse my hair but i also want to give my hair some nutrients so this has been great I promise y'all I've used this several several times and it looks like I've used literally like nothing I've used like nothing y'all <laughs> and if you watched my last um hair regimen type video y'all know that I was using the Camille Rose Chepe shampoo and honestly I'm not too huge of a fan on that shampoo it was just something to use up and I just wanted to go ahead and with something that had those aromatic ingredients because i was experiencing a lot of hair loss y'all know i'm trying to grow my edges back because for whatever reason they didn't up and left me child so i really wanted to go in with something and this seems to be the perfect solution 
and then of course when i go in with this shampoo i want to go in with a conditioner that doesn't have any silicone so as of lately i think i'm going to go ahead and try the myel oats and honey soothing conditioner of course that is what she looks like the packaging is beautiful so this is eight ounces again on the ground i know for a fact that i picked this up from cbs when i had y'all know they send out coupons all the time y'all know one thing's for sure two things for certain i'm gonna stand by cbs because they used to send 40 percent off coupons all the time as of lately i'm only getting 20 percent, but even 20 percent is better than you know what i'm saying um because my yell is very affordable and it's on the ground so if you get one of those coupons I love reaching for um, affordable products so this conditioner is only eight ounces but it sounds really really good to me and with the weather change and everything I think that the soothing conditioner will be great I did hear from one of my subscribers hey girl you know exactly who you are that this conditioner is a bit strengthening so I'm excited to review this product and see what I think about it because I didn't know that before all right y'all so of course I have several deep conditioners here y'all know i'm a deep conditioner girl and the thing that i finish absolutely the fastest is going to be a deep conditioner so on the days that i go ahead in with a silicone sulfate shampoo type of situation i have been going in with the tgin honey miracle hair mask i have a review on this product it worked very very well this is a, a pricey product for sure and i still have quite a few uses y'all know i don't reach for my silicone products very often but when I do, I do think that the Honey Miracle Mask is a good one. So that's what I'm working on using up right now. All right, you guys. And I have three other masks that I am actively going to try to use up with my non-silicone type products. So first and foremost is a product, y'all. I swear I've talked about this product so, so much in the past six months or so. This is the Nature's Little Secret Agave Nectar Moisturizing Treatment. Yeah. So that is what she looks like and that is how much I have left. So y'all, when I tell y'all, I have been absolutely obsessed with this treatment. This is absolutely my favorite mask that I've tried from Nature's Little Secret. Granted, I've only ever tried the mixed fruit, which I did think was a good mask, but this takes the cake for sure. They definitely did their big one with this agave mask. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend Nature's Little Secret does a pretty good Black Friday um, type of situation. So if you plan to shop, if you need something, child, because a lot of us don't need nothing. I highly recommend picking this one up. I actually really, really did like this mask. And as you guys can see, I don't even know if this is a full use left in here. So this will be gone very, very, very soon. Next, y'all, is another mask that I have absolutely fallen in love, head over heels with. This is the Oyen Handmade What the Hemp Deep Moisture Mask. Chef's Kiss. Y'all know that Oyen has been on the scene literally forever. This year, I was a part of their ambassadorship program. And this was one of the products that I was able to try. And when I tell y'all, this mask is so, so, so... This is my favorite Oyen product to date. To date, okay? Um, and I've tried quite a few of their products with the ambassadorship. But to date, nothing tops this mask. This mask is absolutely amazing. You can get this on the ground at certain Whole Foods as well. So, so if you are interested in trying this mask, of course, click a link and definitely go ahead and use my code, of course. But you won't be disappointed. This mask is really, really good. And one of the things that it claims is ultra nourishment and softness. And when I tell y'all, I reach for this mask when I need those things. Between this mask and the Nature's Little Secret Agave, I don't know who's topping, who's taking the cake this year, but these have been two really, really good masks. Okay, you guys, and last but not least for this week, I have another mask, and this is a new to me brand and mask. So this is the Sauce Beauty Smoothing Curl Mask, and it's in the Honey Chia scent flavor packaging. I don't know but it is made with honey shea butter and chia so I'm very excited to try this product y'all know sauce beauty is sold in Sally beauty stores so I'm excited to try this because they're always a part of those four for 20s four for 25s this is a 10.5 ounce conditioner I'm excited to see if it lives up to my standards. I do have a couple other wash day products from this brand as well. So I'm very intrigued to see what Sauce Beauty is talking about. 
all right you guys so now that we have went ahead and completed week one following up with that in the second week of the month i personally like to go ahead in with a co-wash now one of the things that i have learned this year specifically is that i'm not necessarily a co-wash girl it's just not something that you know really speaks to me anymore if ever okay i have found some co-washes that i absolutely love and i feel like at this point i do have my staples but i have a handful of co-washes left in my collection so and i'm thinking honestly by next year i'll probably be done with my co-washes and i'll only be repurchasing my favorites so let's go ahead and talk about the co-washes and then i like to follow up my co-washes with a protein moisture deep conditioner so the product that I'm using is another Oyen handmade product. This is the Ginger Mint Co-Wash and it does come in 8 ounces. And of course she comes with a little pump. Now let me tell y'all, the pump, love her. Okay, love her. Okay, I love the pump. It feels like I, okay, I just feel like I, baby, I mean the shower just pumping, 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 pumping. But this, since it's only 8 ounces, Personally, I feel like I have to use a lot of co-wash because I'm trying to get it on my scalp to actually cleanse my scalp. It doesn't have the same lather as like a shampoo would. So for me, I'm just not a co-wash girl. So this co-wash is okay, but it's also something that I'm just trying to use up. It's not something that I'm head over heels in love with like the the mask from this collection so i will say i want to say maybe i have a use and a half left of this mask and that's about it so of course i had to pick a couple co-washes to follow up with so once i go ahead and finish that when handmade co-wash i do have two other co-washes that i want to follow up with first and foremost is the sultanicals hair to the rescue aphrodetic not goo and this is an ambunu and rasul clay co-wash so that's what this product looks like of course it is eight ounces and when i tell y'all she's thick i'm not sure how this is gonna work out because she has not moved at all i mean literally y'all this is still in the exact same spot this should have been in a jar honey okay honestly i picked this up last black friday i also have learned in the past couple years of being natural i've been natural for like over 10 years but especially last year i started to experiment with clays and I'm not a clay girl, so using this up will be very interesting. I actually do have a deep conditioner from Soul Tentacles as well that I want to try these products together with. So I plan to do like a wash day of sorts. And since this is only 8 ounces, I'm more than likely going to pull this one out before my next co-wash. And the final co-wash that I have for this selection is the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. And of course, we all have seen her before. This is 16 ounces and y'all know that Eden Body Works is affordable and on the ground and black home. Don't play with her. Of course, this is what she looks like in all of her glory. So this is a product that I've had in my stash way too long, but I've absolutely never used it. And again, I think it's just one of those things where I slowly but surely learning that I'm just not a co-wash girl. Um, but I've heard nothing but good things about this co-wash, so I'm super excited to try it and potentially get it out my stash. One of my favorite co-washes is from Eden Body Works, so I'm sure that I will like it. It's just a matter of using it. And then y'all, I forgot to mention this a little while ago, but if I am using any silicone products, I have been going in with this Cream of Nature Apple Cider Vinegar Clarifying Rinse. Now, I'm not sure if they still sell this product or not. Um, I've had this in my stash for a pretty, pretty good minute. This is 15.5 ounces. And as you guys can see here, I've used a pretty, pretty good penny. I'd say maybe about a third. And they're not lying when they say that this is a clarifying rinse. It, it definitely is clarifying. I like to use this only when I have used silicones in a previous wash day because that clarifying apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm, clarifying. So it strips my hair of that um, those silicones so that I'm able to proceed into my wash day without any silicones for my co-washes and all of those things. Okay, y'all, and last but not least, of course, I have to follow up with a deep conditioner. Y'all know I very rarely don't deep condition when I wash my hair. So the one that I have been using is none other than the Camille Rose Fresh Honey Nectar Deep Conditioning Treatment. And I actually did do a review on this product. And when I tell y'all, I have only used this once. I actually used this last week. And when I tell y'all, I'm literally still at the top. Like, Camille Rose, 
they did their thing on this treatment okay it worked so so well the second ingredient is rice water so for me i thought that this was going to be a more like strengthening treatment but when i tell y'all it left my hair so amazingly soft it did feel a little bit stronger but y'all gotta y'all just gotta go see my review because this product this product she did not come to play with us and it is 12 ounces and when i tell y'all i usually use a ton of product and this took absolutely none this may be on the favorites of 2023 i'll let y'all know that right now mm-hmm Okay, y'all, and even though I don't think that I'm going to use up that Camille Rose mask by the time the end of the year rolls around, y'all know I like options, so I had to bring some to the table. Yes, ma'am. So the first thing that I have here is something that I've been trying to use up forever, but I just keep getting intrigued by other things. This is the main choice, um, green tea and carrot, the deep strengthening and restoring mask treatment. Now, I know y'all are mad at me because this is the original formula and they don't make the original anymore. I want to say that the mask now is from the Alpha Collection and y'all know that they like reformulated a lot of their products. So I don't think that this is the same anymore, but I know a lot of people absolutely loved this product the original way. Um, so I'm really excited to try this and I am going to do a review on it even though you guys can't get this version anymore. I'm excited to try it. It's only eight ounces. I know for a fact before when I've used these like tube deep conditioners from the main choice, I've gotten two uses out of them. For whatever reason, I just feel like I, I just be squeezing and squeezing and squeezing the tube. So I don't anticipate that this is going to take me long. It's only eight ounces. So really, I need to go ahead and use it up. If not by this year, then next year for sure it needs to be used up. The next mask that I have here is another cult favorite. Y'all, I'm trying to get through the stash. Y'all. I know y'all see the stash over here and I know y'all have seen my stash video so y'all know just how much stuff I have. This is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. This is a product that I absolutely used to love. Used to love. Okay. Used to love. I can't tell you the last time I've tried this product but it has been in my stash and I know I've used this at least once or twice before. Um, so I just really want to go ahead and use this up. This is a really good moisture protein balance type deep conditioner to me. So I'm really excited to go ahead and pull this one back out and use it up to see what exactly my thoughts are. Because it's been a long time since I've used this. I got so obsessed with products that I forgot to go back to my OGs and my favorites. So I'm excited to go ahead and get back into her. Alright y'all, and last but not least is from some of y'all favorite products. This is the Niche Strength and Deep Conditioner. And I know y'all that this is the older packaging. They came out with new, sleeker, black packaging. But um, I don't have that. Okay, I have this and indulge in this packaging. And y'all gonna get this packaging until I finish these up, okay? Um, so I've heard nothing but good things about Strengthen. And I also have heard that this is actually very moisturizing as well. So, um... Honestly, I don't know. I wasn't super impressed with impressed with the pumpkin mask that I tried. Was it this year from Mish? This year or last year from Mish? I'm not sure, but I, I tried that mask. And it was a good mask, but it just wasn't my favorite, especially for $25. So I'm excited to see how I feel about Mish because they're definitely on thin ice for me. They have pretty pricey products, and I want to love them and support them, but... I feel like they're getting a little out of hand with these prices. Y'all know how I feel. I don't mind spending some coin on some products, but you can't up the price and shrink the product for me. That's like, come on, baby. That's where I draw the line. So I'm excited to see if these are worth the hype because y'all know I'm going to give y'all the real and let y'all know exactly what I think of these products. Okay, y'all. So now we are going to head into the third week of the month. And so first week of the month, we cleansed. Second week of the month, we went in with a co-wash, so not stripping our hair. And then for the third week of the month, I like to go back in and go in with a semi-cleansing shampoo. Still a little moisturizing, still a little cleansing. And then again, I like to replenish all of my moisture with a moisturizing mask. So the shampoo and conditioner that I am currently using, this is the Shea Moisture Kukui Nut and Grapeseed Oils Damage Rehab Shampoo and Condition. And these claim to soften and restore fragile and frazzled hair. So y'all have seen me do a review on these before. As y'all can see, the shampoo, there's not a whole, whole lot left in here. And then the conditioner, 
y'all know i fly through conditioner so i did a whole review on these i actually do like them this is discontinued from shea moisture if you know you know i have a whole shea moisture store so <laughs> um so i'm working on using up a lot of my shea moisture products and these are just among some of the first of them but i'm actually using these for wash day tomorrow and y'all y'all saw that i don't have a whole 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 lot left of that shampoo from the shea moisture kakui nut collection so the next shampoo that i'm going to go in with is another cult favorite this is the main choice exotic kool-aid minty cool minty guava and kiwi shampoo that is what this looks like we all know her we all love her and as y'all can see i don't have a whole lot left so as y'all know we're on mission use up the stash i have moved with my stash again and though i have finished a ton of products gotten rid of given away thrown away a lot of products i still have a ton of products and um the goal is when i buy products is to use them and i plan to do just that with the shampoo i don't have a whole, whole lot but this is a shampoo that i always did love and i plan to use it up y'all know the deal so of course after i go in with one of these shampoos i like to follow up with a conditioner so for the shea moisture shampoo i'll be following up with the shea moisture conditioner once that conditioner is gone i go in and use whatever conditioner i'm using during week one so we go ahead and of course we deep condition like any other day so the deep conditioner that i am going to be going in with next is the honey's handmade melba's kitchen collection edition 2 this is melba's sweet potato and turmeric healthy scalp hair mask of course that is what she looks like and honestly i decided to pull this out for two reasons i don't shop from honey's handmade anymore and i'm trying to get rid of my collection from them i have a lot of stuff left I was an avid stand for honeys at one point so I'm working on using up of course all of my products as well as the sweet potato is calling for the season okay y'all know I'm a seasonal product user so that's why I'm going ahead and with this this is only eight ounces I usually get three uses out of my um, honey's handmade products it's been a long time since I've used a mask actually so but usually I get about three uses so this will probably be gone by my next product hair regimen situation all right y'all next is from another new ish to me type of brand this is from trees of trusses this is their goddess deep conditioner and it's made with cashew milk coconut cream and greek yogurt so i decided to pull this out because at the top of the year trees of trusses did send me some products and they sent me the hair crack deep conditioner which i absolutely loved y'all I absolutely love that deep conditioner um, and when they sent this they actually sent me another one because they knew how much I enjoyed it and then they sent me their hibiscus hair smoothie which you guys have seen my review on I gotta revisit that because I didn't like it as it is a leave-in styler I didn't like it that way but I am really excited to try this as a deep conditioner um, so it smells absolutely phenomenal y'all I did open this up and it claims to get rid of frizz it claims to smooth and of course be moisturizing but to me this seems like it's going to be more of a cooler weather type of product so i'm super excited to try this out again it was only eight ounces i think i got maybe three uses out of the hair crack deep conditioner so i'm expecting to get the same thing out of this but i do have high hopes for this so i'm excited to see what i think about this um i i'm not sponsored by trees of trusses they just send me their stuff and i really do enjoy their stuff they're small black woman owned so i just like to put y'all on so for sure and then the last option that I have here, which I doubt that I'll get to, but I really do want to use up by next year. This is the Curls and Potions Chebe and Mint Collection Chebe Hydration Mask. Need I say more? Curls and Potions is one of those brands that is really that girl on the scene right now. I don't have a whole, whole lot of products from Curls and Potions. I actually only have like four products left. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. I heard good things about this. Not great things, but good things. So I'm excited to see what I think. Y'all know, I kind of take everybody else's opinion with a grain of salt because sometimes my hair loves products and then there's products that y'all love that my hair is like, be for real. Okay, y'all, and I know that this video is getting a little long. I know, but we have made it to the fourth week of the month, which means that for me, I go in with a moisturizing shampoo. So eventually, when I do finish my co-washes, I'll be using a moisturizing shampoo twice out of the month instead of a co-wash. But until then, 
is moisturizing shampoo on week four. So the shampoo that I'm currently using up, this is the Kinky Tresses Avocado Infusion Shampoo. But I think that this is a great shampoo. If you're looking for a moisturizing shampoo that still cleanses, definitely a good option. But y'all, since that shampoo is also almost gone, as you guys have seen, I'm using up a ton of products. I have to go ahead and pick a new moisturizing shampoo. So the one that I've decided to go in with is another one from Shea Moisture. Like I said, I am just trying to use up my Shea Moisture stash. Y'all know I have a ton of products from Shea Moisture. So I picked these ones out because I've been eyeing them for a really long time and it's time for me to use them up. So this is from the Shea Moisture Raw Shea and Kupawasu Frizz Defense Shampoo and a Conditioner. So that is what these two look like. Of course, shampoo and conditioner and she's thick. So these products claim to be for thick and wavy hair. For me, I have tried a lot of the Shea Moisture lines and honestly, I don't be paying too much attention about who they claim to be for because a lot of times they work. Okay, they work. So I'm really excited to try these two products. I also have the deep conditioner to this line. So I'm excited to try these. I've never tried them. I'm pretty sure this is long gone. Y'all know, y'all know all the Shea Moisture lines are gone. Okay. And then as for deep conditioners, y'all, my Botanica the Mender is just about gone. How sad y'all. Um, like this will be gone the next wash day but thankfully I had a subscriber who was kind enough to send me a whole care package worth of products and it was so so nice of her shout out to you girl y'all I be feeling weird about saying y'all names because you know y'all don't sign up to do what I do you know but you know who you are if you want to leave a comment down below I appreciate you guys so so much because y'all don't have to send me nothing at all but of course it is definitely appreciate it when y'all do so she actually did send me another botanica they're still available in her area so when i use this up this week i will actually have enough to do my whole head because child this wasn't even gonna cover no gram no gram so i'm so excited thank you so much i'm so excited to use up my extra bottle of botanica because i absolutely love botanica botanica it works so well i hate that they discontinued this but of course since i have to follow up with another protein um treatment i've decided to go ahead and with my edgewood beauty blue tansy reparative mask and as y'all can see she is still very 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 much full so i did do a review on this months ago okay i got this product at some point during this year so it was months ago um this is a 16 ounce product and y'all know that edgewood beauty is she's pricey okay she's pricey this is the only product i've tried from this brand but so far so good it definitely is more thick like a clay but when i tell y'all she works well my hair definitely feels strengthened and following up with a conditioner my hair feels absolutely amazing so i'm excited to try this and especially see how it works over time so yeah you guys those are the products that i'm going to try to work on getting through to the end of the year y'all i mean who knew that 2023 would fly by so freaking quickly but i'm so grateful you guys have seen the progress of all my hair regimens and all of my empties of course i do use products outside of these but y'all know i really try to focus on these wash day products to make sure that i'm filtering products up and out okay so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video of course definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below of products that you are using up right now whether they are wash day products or styling videos i love to know do you do something similar like me where you have like something more like a schedule so that you're making sure to use stuff up or do you just pick products out and go with it okay let me know down below but i appreciate you guys so so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video leave me a coconut emoji don't ask me why it's a coconut child just leave me a coconut emoji if you made it all the way to the end of this video i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye